My name is Nobo Waja, Nobo Kofi Waja. I work uh, for Oil Watch Africa, for that matter, Oil Watch Ghana. So I work from Ghana uh, in West Africa. Um, the work I do has, is mostly grounded in energy transition, which is, a, which is embedded in Oil Watch Africa's campaign called Leave the Oil in the Soil. Thinking of that, uh, the philosophy of that campaign is informed by the need to transit away from fossil energy in a, in a way that the world become a more transformational society for all of us. Uh, we think that that campaign is ensuring that is to ensure that um, climate change is addressed at source. Because the source of climate change is energy, fossil energy consumption, which is leading to the climate change. And climate change is affecting us in much more difficult ways. In, in our organization, it affects us because at times when it rains, because of the poor infrastructure nature of our country, people are not even able to commute from home to office at the, the right time. So, and these are rains or weather changes that comes unexpected. So that is at our level, but at the country level, it happens also by that it affects in agriculture, it affects in uh, people's livelihood because of farming. People plant, they don't reap what they want. At the countryside, you see it happening. And um, if you go to some part of the water lake where I come from, you realize that communities have been displaced as a result of this climate change. So there's these tidal waves that has moved people away from their known places and so people have become climate refugees struggling to make their life in new environments that they are unfamiliar with and uh, it is affecting the region the whole west africa the, the mangroves the wetlands areas are changing there are all kinds of species that people don't know of are coming up people are not able to connect with their um, primary economic activities that was traditionally known uh, mangrove areas are changing the quality of the water is changing sea level intrusion into the river systems and all that so it's, it's it's really having a lot of damages on people people are finding it very difficult to adapt to the changing situation and i think that the developed countries have to do more to 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 to, to take uh, us out from this type of global challenge and i will implore on the government of canada and the people of canada to to put more into adaptation uh, funded technologies that helps developing economies like Ghana. And I'm sure that in that way we'll all be contributing to a very peaceful and harmonious global society that is available for mankind to survive.